In this video, we're going to look at government and pollution permits, doing a few numerical examples. So we have a three-firm industry with each firm polluting a certain amount. And we have the cost of reducing pollution by one unit. So for some firms, it's more costly to reduce pollution than other firms. And the government wants to reduce pollution in this industry by 12 units reducing total pollution from 48 units, so 20 plus 15 plus 13 is 48 units, and now the government wants to limit pollution to just 30 units. The government gives each firm 10 non-tradable pollution permits. A firm's level of pollution must not exceed its number of permits. Therefore, no firm can pollute more than 10 units in this example. What is the total cost of the pollution reduction? So this is what's going on now. Uh, we have the firm's current level of pollution. Now each firm has 10 pollution permits, and no firm can pollute more than the number of permits it is currently holding. So for firm A, it's polluting 20 units and has 10 permits. So 20 minus 10 is a required pollution reduction. Firm B is currently polluting 15 units and it's sitting on 10 pollution permits. So it has to reduce pollution by the difference, 15 minus 10. And then finally, firm C has to reduce pollution by three units. So the cost of the pollution reduction then for firm A is gonna be $10 times the required reduction in pollution. So firm A will spend $100 reducing pollution. Firm B, has to reduce pollution by five units at eight dollars a cost per unit. It will cost firm B forty dollars to do that. And finally for firm C, five dollars a unit times three units is fifteen dollars in total cost for pollution reduction. The total cost then, a hundred plus forty plus fifteen is a hundred and fifty five dollars. Let's do another example. So we got the same industry. The government wants to reduce pollution once again by 12 units, reducing pollution from 48 units to 30 units, but this time the government auctions 30 pollution permits. What is the total cost of the pollution reduction? So firm A is going to buy 20 pollution permits because it can outbid the other firms. Firm A's maximum willingness to pay for a permit is $10, where firm B at most would be willing to pay $8 for a permit and firm C, $5. So firm B is going to buy the last 10 pollution permits because it can outbid firm C. Firm A doesn't need any po more pollution permits. It bought 20, and it's currently producing 20 units of pollution. So firm B can outbid firm C. Firm B is willing to pay at most $8 for a pollution permit while firm C would only be willing to pay $5. Firm C is not going to pay $6 or $7 for a pollution permit when it can reduce pollution by itself at a cost of only $5. So in terms of the cost of pollution reduction, firm A doesn't have to reduce any pollution. Okay, It's holding 20 permits and it's currently producing 20 units. So firm A doesn't have to reduce pollution. Firm B is sitting on 10 pollution permits, and it's currently polluting 15 units, so it has to reduce pollution by 5 units, and that costs Firm B $40. And finally, Firm C doesn't have any pollution permits. It was outbid by the other two firms, so it has to reduce pollution by 13 units. So $5 times 13 is a total cost of $65. So adding these three numbers up. The total cost of reducing pollution in this case is $105, which is lower than our first example. Uh, one thing to note here, the money spent by the firms buying the permits from the government is not part of the societal cost of reducing pollution, but simply a transfer from one pocket to another pocket. In this case, the pocket of the firms to the pocket of the government. And the goal here is to reduce pollution at the lowest cost. So this method here where we have auctions or tradable permits will achieve that goal. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.